Hi everyone, it's Bianca Walt and welcome back to my channel. You notice anything different? <laughs> I have actually gotten a front fringe. I thought because it is winter here in Australia, so I thought, you know, why not? <laughs> um, I am planning to grow it back simply because I really don't like putting effort into my hair. It sucks and I don't know if it really suits me or not. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering what this is, it's just henna. I did put this in my May favorites, I think it was. I've been doing them myself lately and I honestly think I've been getting better. Also too, I've been getting a lot of questions about my vlogs. Just letting you know that my vlogs will be put up on random days, um, whereas my main videos will still continue to be on a Thursday. Okay, so let's get started straight away. I'm going to do swatches just to show you a few of the Divine Goddess Lipstick range by Napoleon Purtis. I have seven of them, which is not a lot because of the fact that there is a lot more, but um, do I want more? Uh, not really. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. It's got um the color down here, so you can see what color it is, and then you've got the gold in the middle, which is really gorgeous, and you've got, I don't know if you can see, um, it has the Napoleon coming down here and Napoleon Divine Goddess written across here, and that's just um henna as well. It looks like poo on my hands, I know guys, but I can't actually rub it off, it sucks. So the reason why I probably won't get any more of these lipsticks is simply because they retail for about $35 here in Australia. This is my brand new lipstick and that is how much product we get. Um, and that really sucks because that's not much at all. But they do smell like cake and everybody loves cake. Okay, so the first color I'm going to show you is honestly my most favorite color in the entire world. And this is Electra. It's just a really nice pinky color, and that's all I have left. So that's what it looks like on. It's just a really nude, but it's got color in it, so you can wear it on its own and not look too drained out. It's close to a matte shade, but it does still have a bit of glossy shine over it. There's no shimmer whatsoever. It is just a flat color, but it's not completely matte. And it's just really thick, really pigmented. It's beautiful. The next color that's absolutely one of my favorites is Hess. And unfortunately, I left it in the car one time in my handbag and it actually melted. <laughs> it looks quite brown from here, but when I put it on, it's actually like a really nice color. As you can see, it's still got a little bit of pink to it. The difference between this and Electra is that this one is obviously more nude, but it actually has glitter in it. You will find that once the color does fade, you still have a little, you still have little glitter speckles left on your lips, which is really frustrating, but it gives it like a really nice pearlescent shine. It's definitely not matte. My lips are gonna hate me for this. Next color, which is probably one of my favorite colors. I just got this a couple of days ago and it's Hara. It's a gorgeous bright red orange. On the screen, it does look almost red, but in real life, this is a really pigmented orange color. It is an extremely matte lipstick, so it's really hard to actually put on your lips. It's just because I know my lips really well, so it just goes on easier for me. But if you're not that familiar with your lips and you don't really use bright colors, I do advise you to use a lip brush because it is really hard on your lips. The only disappointing thing about this is because it is so matte, it really does dry out your lips, but it's so pigmented, I absolutely love it. It works for both winter, spring, and summer. Some people like it, some people don't. It's clearly just based on how out there you love your lipsticks, but I actually really like it. Next color is Demeter, and again, it's just this really, really nude color. So this one, compared to the Hess, is clearly, it's um, a lot more browner. It really does cancel out the red in your lips. There is no glitter in this one. Again, this is more like 
the texture of Electra. That rhymed. See what I did there? Again, it's very buttery, it's very smooth, it's very pigmented. It's on the border of matte and dewy, so you can see a little bit of dewiness around here in the middle, so it does make your lips pop. But again, it's not completely dewy, but it's not completely matte. It's very pigmented, it's very brown. I find that if you have a really pale skin tone, that this will be too brown. If you are going for a nude look, it will be too brown for your lips, so it will just look like you're wearing brown lipstick. But if you do have more of a darker color, I'd probably go to about an olive skin color. This is a really great lipstick. My next color, which I kind of go up and down a bit, is the color Nikki. It's the most less pigmented color that I actually have in my bag. It goes on very sheer. Yeah, it's not very buildable. It has a very glossy like texture compared to the others where there was a matte and there was a matte slash dewy and it kind of feels like butter. This one is a lot more slipperier. It's a lot more like a gloss. It's very dewy, so you definitely don't need any lip gloss over it. However, because I love my lip gloss, I do put lip gloss over it and I use the Napoleon VIP over it because as you can see, they are very similar in color. There's no sparkles in this one, but it does have that beautiful pearlescent shine like Hess does, except without the glitter. And I do find considering that this one is less pigmented than the others, this one will stay on the longest. Even the dewiness and the glossy shine, it will stay on the longest. This one is Aphrodite. I think I did this in my Napoleon giveaway. So it is really great for the fall. It's really good for winter. I love this color. So this is the color. It's a really deep blood red color. I feel like I've been saying this with all the lipsticks but I don't know how else to explain it. It's not dewy, but it's not matte. It's right smack bend in the center. So if you do have small lips, Aphrodite is such a great color. It plumps up your lips. It makes them look a lot bigger and it makes my teeth look really white. The other thing that I love about this is it's so pigmented. I find that with a lot of red colors that you have to do a couple of layers, whereas this one is just one kind of thing and it's just really, really pigmented. And the last color was what I said is Eros. So this is Eros. It's very, very matte, unlike, unlike Aphrodite. Again, with all Napoleon matte color, matte colors, I do find that they are really hard to apply to the lips. So again, try to apply it with a lip brush if you're not too familiar with your lips. I absolutely love this color. It does look a bit darker on the camera screen as of in real life. This one's a lot more pinkier. Again, I love it for the springtime. I probably wouldn't wear it as much in the winter as I would in spring because this is just a gorgeous color. The spring it really does remind me of roses and flowers and bunnies and pretty things. So that's it guys. I have now got a stained pigment on my lip. That's fine. That's what concealer is for, right? I hope that you liked these Napoleon reviews for you because I do find that with more of the expensive branded lipsticks, you do want to know what it looks like on before you actually get it yourself and so i really hope this helped you out keep a look out for my channel because there will be some vlogs coming up and keep out a look out every thursday because that's a hundred percent that there will be videos every thursday because that's just what i do <laughs> see you later guys